You should like put some flowers or something in it, some butterflies. White folks, why only white folks do that? Hey, 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 we're back with another episode of Sticky TV Interviews, man. Could you let them know who we're here with today? What's up? What's up? I'm Zoe Simone, but sometimes they call me Big Zoe. <laughs> okay, then. The biggest. Yes. Okay, then. Okay, then. How long have you been doing hair? I've been doing hair since I was 14. Um... Yeah, like I would do my friend's hair in high school. I would do my own hair. And then like when I turned like 16, I actually started taking clients in the salon. Okay. So yeah, I've been doing hair for a minute. Well, definitely. Mm -hmm. what's, the, what's the best thing that you love about your occupation? Um, I mean, like I can really do what I want. Like I don't have to, like I work for myself. Like I'm pretty much my own boss, so. You know, I can travel when I want, I can wear what I want, and I don't have to be restricted. Right. Mm -hmm. You don't got to be put in a box. You exactly. Just, most definitely, most exactly. definitely. What has been the most challenging so far? About doing hair? Yeah. Um, I ain't gonna lie. It got to be the keeping the same Cause it's like every week's not gonna be a good week. Like some weeks you might not make as much. So I feel like the hardest thing about it is like keeping that same pace, like keeping that same pace every week. Cause every week's not gonna be a good week. Like you gonna have some weeks where you make $200. You have some weeks where you make a thousand dollars. So I feel like that's like the hardest part about it. You just gotta kind of have tough skin about it and just go with the flow. Most definitely, most mm -hmm. definitely, most definitely. What do you see yourself in the next five years? Um, I definitely want to, I don't know, I definitely don't want to be behind a chair um, within the next five years. I'm an artist as well, so okay. I see myself um, making music full time five years from now. Okay. Yeah. What are some dream collaborations? Oh, dream collaborations. Pharrell. Um, Pharrell. Who else? Um, Willow Smith. Okay. Um, okay. Some dream collaborations. They gotta be at my top two right now. Um, okay. Cause I really like Pharrell. I like his production. I like the way he like, I, everything he does, I just like it. He's versatile. Man. I think that would be my top, my top collaboration. Okay. Yeah, I feel like I feel like for real kind of has like that Midas touch. Like, yeah, whatever he does is it might be a little out there, but it's it's dope as it hell. always turns out like, good. He, whether it's making shoes, now he making clothes with little. Oh toys. yeah, I saw that. Man, like, I saw that. He he just does what he does. Exactly. I hear you about to turn twenty one in a couple months. Yes, everybody thinks I'm like five, six years older than what I really am, but I am 20 and I'll be 21 in a month. Okay. So I'm young and turned. Young and turned up, young and turned up. <laughs> How you trying to bring it in? I'm going to the Bahamas. So it's going to be, I'm going I'm to be living it up on the island for my birthday. Okay then, yep. drink, drink out of coconut. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Lord <laughs> what would you say has been your inspiration to your music? Um, my inspiration would be honestly like watching other artists just like me, like do big things. You feel what I'm saying? Because you know, I, don't, I just look up to the people around me. Like, I can't really look up to celebrities. Like, I can look up to celebrities, but it's different when you see the people that are like 
three, four years older than you, y'all went to high school together and you see them like doing listening parties or shooting music videos or like, you know, performing on big stages. I feel like that's what really keeps me inspired because if they could do it, I could do it too. And they like, you know, they like my peers. So right. I feel like that's what keeps me motivated. Okay. What would you say is your dream venue to perform in? That is a good question. Um, I would say like maybe like a festival, like something like Coachella or something like that. Oh man. Yeah, something. Yeah, with a big stage, large audience, a big DJ booth. Like, yeah, I think I think somewhere like Coachella would be would be fire. Okay. Yeah. Most definitely. What message do you try to give your audience with your music? Um, just to like be yourself, like it's okay to be vulnerable. Like, I don't know, just to be yourself. Cause I go off what I'm feeling when I make my music. So it's just cool to be yourself. It's, it's, it's cool to express how you feel. Like it's not lame to like be vulnerable and right. to like say how you feel and to follow your heart. So I feel like that's what I express in my music. Okay then, okay. Yep. What would you say genre fits your your music best um i would say like alternative i don't like to put myself in a box because ever since i was little i've always said like i want to create my own genre okay. so um i would say alternative um like i make i have a mixture like pop rock neo soul so i would just say alternative because i could go anywhere with it at any moment Right, yeah. you're, you're more, more versatile. Exactly, yeah. Most definitely. Who are who would you say is better, Anita Baker or Sade? Oh, Anita Baker. I can't. I can't just throw Anita Baker away like that. She paved the way for a lot of women. For sure. But I. But it also was before my time, though. But I do like Sade as well. I don't know if I could pick, but. Uh, I'm gonna have to say Anita Baker. She paved the way. I can't not pick her. <laughs> it makes sense. Yeah. It makes sense.